Hey there, it's Tuesday, October 11th. Uh, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Sun came up half an hour ago. As you can see right behind my shoulder is going to be a nice day. It's been a few weeks since I've been up here. It's definitely much cooler. It's 41 degrees outside. Uh, which kind of is a good, bad thing. Uh, to be pleasant to work in and uh, the drinks I left behind in my shed are already nice and cold. The bad part is there's the sun at 8 o'clock in the morning and it used to be over there at 8 o'clock in the morning and then you would have the whole sky for it to go across all day long so I'm definitely getting way less daylight hours than I used to but it's part of the winter. So I I wrecked one pair of jeans and then I wrecked another pair of jeans and patched them up and wrecked them then the very next day so I actually bought these pants I want to see it like in March or something I never actually wore them there's some Dickies they're the heavy work pants and it feels a lot like I'm wearing you know you got to be a little bit older to know this but back uh, in the 70s what tents were made out of that's what this feels like it they actually hurt for the first two days I wore them because uh, they kind of cut into my leg a little bit now they're starting to break in a little bit so they're uh, I'm not gonna say soft but they're uh, tolerable at this point on the other hand they're really warm and it's 49 degrees up here and they're sturdy I feel like I could walk like right into these uh, blackberries and, and not get snagged up like I was before yeah I'm not making any power but I don't have to use that much power because I don't need a lot of refrigeration right now. The sun is just not going to get above these trees right here. And eventually it's just going to cruise over. I'll probably have like 20 minutes of light, then nothing, then 12 minutes of light. So I'm trying to avoid the mildew explosion I had last year. And so I took my sheets and my sleep bag and my pillows. And I got them wrapped up in here. Hopefully they'll be more protected. I really should stick them in one of those plastic containers. I'll probably end up doing that. But uh, I still got like a majority of a bottle of the mildew uh, preventative to spray on this canvas. But the last time I sprayed it on, the cheap ass bottle broke. And so the little squeezy thing isn't working. So I got to. Unfortunately, I suffer from CRS. And I forgot to bring up a replacement bottle to put that stuff into. So that'll be a. Uh, up for next time well it could not be a much nicer day outside I mean it's just that perfect fall air it's crisp but not too cold uh, it's supposed to be a high of 49 if you're in the Sun it's actually quite pleasant uh, you get in the shade and it feels like it's 49 in about half a second but man just super nice this is where the hummingbird feeder hangs I feel kind of bad as uh, one of the little buggers keeps coming by and he flies circles around it uh, looking for the hummingbird feeder, but it's mid-October and I think that those guys need to start migrating So I decided to stop feeding them So this is uh, some hoof prints right here And I don't know if the deer jumped on this ledge or fell Down the ledge and landed here, but you can see It came across And then it hit here and here I mean, it got like right next to my solar panels. I wonder if that thing almost fell right into it. I was thinking about bringing these trees down today, but the wind is really unpredictable. It's kind of swirling. And inevitably, when I try to drop something in this kind of a wind condition, the wind moves in the wrong direction when I want it to fall. So I think I'm just going to give it a pass today. Well, today I've decided to savor the adventure once again. And I'm going to try the beef stew, which I don't think I've tried before. At least I don't recall it. If I do, someone can easily correct me. And then what I'm going to do is, because these typically do not have that much beef or chicken or whatever they advertise, I'm going to throw in a little bit of this, the uh, beef crumbles from the Essentials, which, by the way, is a fantastic product. So, let's get her rolling. I just cracked that open. It smells fantastic. I hope the wind don't blow it over. Anyhow, the directions say to put uh, two cups of water in there, then stir after four minutes, then let it sit for eight to nine minutes. So it's like a 15 minute operation. I got two and a half cups of water cooking with the hamburger in it, which I'm hoping is gonna be enough to keep it, uh, to make it hydrated properly. We'll find out because it is a fine line between uh, proper hydration, crunchy, or soggy. All right, through the magic of time, it sat for four minutes, I stirred it, then it sat for another nine minutes. And by the way, I don't know what they make these packets out of, but they really hold heat like there's nobody's business. 
I'm starting to think I maybe should use a little more water. We'll find out. It's not looking super attractive, but it smells amazing. All right. All right, here we go, taste test. Hopefully it's not like scorching hot. That is really good. This might be my new Mountain House favorite. So one of the things that happens when you get tired is you get sloppy and then things like your saw get stuck in a tree. As soon as I get one mess cleared up, it's just an invitation to make another mess. So hey, now I got all this to clean up again. I bet I filled this up like five times with trees. Well it's uh, about 2.30 in the afternoon and uh, a little tired out, time for me to go home, I gotta work tomorrow. Let me say, why did I kill all those trees today? Well, 
Let me see if I can do this cool panoramic shot without falling on my ass. But, uh, that's the reason why. <laughs>